Welcome to the Bronx Latino History Project. My name is Stephen Payne, librarian and archivist at the Bronx County Historical Society. Today is December 28th, 2021, and we're here again with Elba Cabrera for part six, which will probably be the final part of her oral history. And Elba will be talking about a variety of things, showing us a few more pictures, um, talking about her travels, people who call her madrina, um, and ending on advice to her children and grandchildren and subsequent generations. So Elba, why don't you go ahead and begin maybe with some pictures? Yeah, I, I had, to, after you left last week, I started looking through more pictures and found things that I think you would be interested in. Um, in uh, getting back to some of my trips, uh, I went to Cuba sure. uh, with uh, Ostos Community College. Sure. Actually, I went twice. Wow. And it was such a wonderful experience. Uh, Wally uh, Edgecombe, who actually was born in Cuba, because oh. his parents worked there. I didn't realize that. And he, he was there from birth till, I think he said 14 years old. Wow. So he, he considers himself Cubano. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. his Spanish is just, you know, it's very, he's, equally good in English and Spanish. Wow. Yeah. So uh, in one of our trips, he did this, a Paseo del Prado, and this book takes you through uh, centuries of, of Cuba, and we went walking on the Prado, and it was a hot, hot, hot day. Yeah. But... Uh, we learned so much, you know, the history of, of Cuba, and uh, and I treasure this. Absolutely. Yes, so Absolutely. that was one of the trips. Another trip that I really, uh, I've been to England about four or five times. Okay, wow. It's specifically um, uh, London. Sure. And I have what I call my London family in England because... Uh, I went to the wedding, which was in a castle, and this is Tracy and her husband and his parent, his parents here and Tracy's parents here. Uh, Kathy at, uh, was the mom. She's the shortest one here. Okay, yeah. Actually, Kathy was born in Jamaica, and her father was living in England. Okay, yeah. In, in London, and uh, I, at the age of sixteen, he sent for her, and she never went back to the. Uh, well, she did go visit, but she never went back to live. Yeah. She stayed in. So she has this West Indian accent. Yeah. And her children uh, have the British accent. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and here, here we are uh, on one of our little joints in uh, London and you could see the this is the um, the public uh, phones oh yeah the famous uh, yes red telephone yes books. I don't even know if they have them now because they were beginning to take them down yeah I think I I was there a few years ago I think I saw a couple but definitely not, not very yeah, many yeah yeah and uh, so I when I went to visit and I would go she lived in Battersea Right, right, like saying the Bronx, yeah, and and this and Manhattan, you know, okay. so they sectioned off. And what I loved about London is that, uh, especially where she lived, they, the houses are not. There's no tall buildings. Oh, they're all like two two stories. That's nice, yeah. And uh, it's just lovely. And I got to know what buses to take and all that. Yeah, so that yeah. was a lot of fun. And um, I missed them. I haven't been back since uh, it's been a few years, but uh, maybe maybe I'll still be able to do that. Yeah. And I found this picture that was with Lillian and me and my oldest son at an event. I just okay, thought sure. that we should see that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this is uh, a visit to my sister's house where... Uh, Donnie, my nephew, is taking care of it, and, and this is, um, Donnie's next to me, and Raul, Anita, Anita's son, is here, 
Donnie and me. Okay, sure, yeah. That's in front of the house. And I, you know, whenever I go and he's there, he picks me up in San Juan and he takes me, because it's quite a distance. Oh, sure. Even where Where is the house again? It's off, um, it's between Salinas and Ponce. Okay, yeah. So it's, it's, it's quite a, you know, even with a car, it's a good, to go to Ponce from there, you know, they have the highway. Yeah. So on a good day, probably a half hour. Okay, sure. Yeah. And this is me before I got married. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I showed you that. No, you didn't, you yeah. didn't. That was, wow. Yeah. So I was, I was 18 then. Okay, I see. I was see. a young, young girl. Yeah. And then I have... This is my favorite of Lillian. Oh wow, this that's is the wonderful. Lillian. And and here is Paul when he graduated from high school. Oh, that's a, I like that photo a lot. Yeah. Yeah. See, I just don't have the room to have everything out. Oh, I know. I know. I'm sure. And then my son, uh, my oldest son, graduated from Westbury a year before I did. That's, that's right. I remember that's Tony, that. and that's his best friend. Okay, Frankie. I see. Wow. You can see we they they weren't uh, we didn't have gowns. It was, yeah. It was just uh, uh, whatever we decided to wear. Sure, sure. Because that's how it was then. Yeah. You know, especially at Westbury. This picture was taken by my husband of me at some place. I don't okay, know yeah. It was. And then I wanted you to see Karina as a little girl. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. <laughs> Absolutely. My, my big granddaughter. Absolutely. And here, here is um, my doctor who, who brought Paul into the world, oh. Dr. Metzger, and me, and Joey. Joey's here. Uh, uh, Lorraine, Evelina's oldest daughter. Sure. And Paul. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of my favorite pictures. Where is that? Ah. It was at, it was at Aha. Oh, it okay, was, okay. Uh, it was That's either Aha uh -huh. or an event. Some, yeah, I think it was Aha. Yeah. Uh, he 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 loved um, to go to the uh, performances of. Dances, okay, flamenco. Sure. Oh, flamenco. okay, yeah. And um, I invited him, and he came. That's wonderful. Yeah. So this is one of the pictures that I really like. It was uh, Anna Alicia. Mm. She took this of me. Yeah, I like that photo a lot too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, Nicolas Amor with Karina. As a oh, young child. Look at that. Wow. And then um, I wanted to show Evelina with the local people, organizers, and politicians. Sure. And Evelina's right here, right here. Absolutely, right there. And there's. And then. Uh, Bob Garcia. Bob, Bobby Garcia, who was our congressman, was. He started out being the assemblyman, became a congressman. Sure. And uh, that was one of their events. Uh, I recognize some of the people, but not by name. Sure. And um, Rosana got a, Rosana Rosado, who was the Secretary of State. More recently, now she's going to work for the federal government. Oh yes. So here she is with Hillary the day that she got the award. Okay, yeah. Yeah. This came out in the newspaper. Sure. I believe I showed you the picture that I took of her, right? You did, yeah, yeah. And I was um, a three, three kings, three kings twice <laughs> in my life. <laughs> twice, three times. Anyway, this is one time. And the tallest one there is Pedro Peralta. Mm. And uh, I don't remember the 
the other men's name. Sure. And I'm in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is just a card. Oh, this is a Christmas card from my sister, from, from Evelina. And uh, she signed it. Deeply, because that's that was the name that we gave her. Sure. I, I didn't give her, my aunt did. Absolutely. And that's how she was known as. Wow, yeah. So I wanted to share that. And also, um, when Petey, Petey was alive, he sent us some tapes some that he had made, and he actually signed it and said, enjoy, familia, love, P.D. Thomas. Holy cow, look at that. And there's another one. Actually, there's more than one. There's oh, another sure. one here. And then there's a documentary by uh, Ibrahim Gonzalez mm. of P.D. Thomas right there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. A lot of these people have made their transition. Absolutely. But uh, they're always in our hearts. Absolutely. And uh, when Petey passed on, we did a, a, a tribute to his life. Sure. And, uh, and I showed you the poster. Well, this was a booklet that was done by uh, uh, two people with uh, Malave and um, uh, oh, Jose Angel Figueroa. Mm. Um, they, they both worked on it with poetry. and So this is, this is a treasure too. Oh, I'm sure, absolutely. So I wanted you to see that because there were pictures that I didn't have up. I, as you could see, I don't have wall space. Yeah. I don't even have shelf space so um, uh, yeah one of the travels that uh, well I told you about Cuba now it was just a, a wonderful experience the people were so warm uh, also uh, I've been to Argentina sure. four times Wow and uh, Buenos Aires to be exact also, I've been to Uruguay. Okay, sure. Because it's right there. Yeah. And just, uh, in fact, what we did was that I went with Carmen Vega, my friend who is no longer with us, and uh, we we booked uh, from from here. We booked Argentina, then to go to Uruguay from Argentina at one point, like a weekend. Sure. And so that worked out beautifully. And uh, we just had a great time. Oh, absolutely. And um, what's the, the best part about uh, Buenos Aires is the food. Oh, I'm sure. The, the steaks, because that's what they're known for. Absolutely. It was great. And um, we, we did a lot of shopping because yeah. everything is so, you know less than here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we had a good time. So, you know that we loved it because we kept going back. Yeah, four times. <laughs> did, did you know anyone who lived nope. in, in Argentina? Or just... the, the only one that we really knew in Argentina was uh, was the hotel person that oh, was in sure. charge. <laughs> <laughs> he would greet us like we were a family. And in Uruguay, yes, I had friends. Uh, unfortunately, the weekend that we picked to go there, they were out. They weren't home, okay, sure. and they were so disappointed, but yeah. But we had a really nice time. Um, then I've been to, on the cruises, and have stopped off in many of the islands, the sure. Caribbean, um, uh, at the Barbados, St. Kitts. Um, I always wanted to go to Dominica, but I never got there. Um, but I have gone to uh, St. Croix and St. Thomas, and it's just been, you know, they're all, the islands all look alike yeah. because of the palm trees, except St. Thomas. St. Thomas ha hardly has any palm oh, trees. Oh, really? Huh. And I don't know the reason for that. Hmm. I should really look it up. Um, 
And I've been to Central America, uh, uh, to Costa Rica. Okay, sure. And that was that was quite an event. I went with my niece Anita, and we had so much fun. And at one point, you know, they they come around to for you to go on these little trips, and they had told us about this boat, and but it was pretty expensive, so we said no. But then on the beach. This young man comes over and he and he has it for a quarter of a price. Oh, okay. So we go him. He was from California, but had settled in Costa Rica. Okay. Era huh. un americano. Sure. And really nice guy. Well, we went on this boat, and when we were on it, uh, he started throwing uh, fish so that uh, the the there's not, it's alligators in New York and in, in the States. And it's uh, cock, crocodiles? Crocodiles. Crocodiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they call it. They're yeah. bigger and, I think, anyway. A mouth <laughs> like this. Anyway, yeah. when those things got near the boat, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I, was, I looked at Anita and it, I was right near the, the, esh, the edge with yeah. the, the water. She says, come on to the side. <laughs> anyway, we got out of there. But I said, we were nuts to go on that <laughs> boat with this guy. And a year later, a year later, on the news, in California, a boat had tripped over and then gotten some people. And I said, I think we're California. It was another state that had... Uh, alligators. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm, I really don't remember the state, but anyway, uh, someone got killed. Yeah. Because it went over. Well, I said to Anita, boy, were we lucky. Were we lucky. <laughs> and the same thing happened in Africa. We were in yeah. a boat. We were in a boat. And when I think about it now, it, you know, it was kind of dangerous because they had all kinds of animals <laughs> absolutely <laughs> absolutely but uh, those are the experiences that you remember yeah. and you're kind of glad that you didn't you know <laughs> fall into into a trap <laughs> yeah yeah they have that same thing in louisiana except with the alligators you can go on the swamp boat and yeah and you know there's people who at least the alligators seem to listen to but i i bet if they were hungry they wouldn't <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> and the other, the other animal that uh, that we encountered on on a boat was the monkeys. Oh. Because they they don't care. They come on. They yeah. came, It was on that same boat. Oh wow. And came on, and I was sitting th like this, and it jumped, and I jumped <laughs> up. <laughs> and, and my my niece is unbelievable. She. For some reason, she she got them off, wow. and of course the, the 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 tour guide too. But uh, uh, experiences with those with the monkeys, <laughs> wow, wow. Also, uh, in in Africa, we came across the bats. Oh, sure. And that was kind of scary. I'm sure, yeah. yeah and it was during the day. But they were up like on the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> With, oh my God. Me out of here. <laughs> so, you know, I, I really had my fill of little, you know, animals that we don't usually see. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, my travels have been unbelievable. And then, of course, uh, I took a cruise to, uh, with my friends, the Gonzaleses, and we went to. Uh, Greece and Turkey. Okay, sure. That was beautiful. I'm oh sure my it God, was. Greece! The water. I thought the water in Puerto Rico and the islands was beautiful. This was even more. I have to admit, it was wow. bluer. It was, and it's very, very, very clean. Mm. Very clean. Yeah, yeah. And you see in the pictures, the buildings are all white. Yeah. They take pride. They, the people take pride in it. And having a very very clean city sure. or town, very nice.
a good time. Sat by the water with a glass of wine. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I miss those days. But maybe I'll see it again. Who knows? I hope so, yeah. I hope so. I hope so. It's just that with the pandemic, it's gotten a little difficult Absolutely. to travel. And uh, even going to Puerto Rico, it's, it becomes a big thing. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Because I, I really miss going. So... Anyway, this is what I wanted to share about right. the pictures. So let's go on to the next. Yeah, um, I had been looking for, for a church where I wouldn't just be another number, but a face and a name. Sure. And um, I had tried uh, the universe, universe, universe. Universalist. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. To, and it was nice, but I, I sort of missed some of the rituals that I was used to, sure. you know, from being Catholic. And um, one day, Karina was, when Karina was about, I don't know, she must have been about six or seven. Yeah. Uh, her mother, uh, her friend, uh, her mother's friend recommended, uh, to, you know, for her to, to come see the Lutheran church. Yeah. And um, Rosie went with with Karina, and then she calls me, and she says, "I'd like you, to, you know, to come with us so you can see what the church is like. It's a little different, but I think you'll, you know, you would like it too." So I went. I went. Uh, it's um, Advent Lutheran Church on Ninety Third and Broadway. Sure. And when I went there, um, everybody was very uh, welcoming. And and I liked the the way you know people were treating each other, and at the end, um, the pastor, uh, you know, we went to say something, and the pastor said to me, Pastor Elise, says to me, "Okay, Elba, I'll see you next week," <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "Oh, oh." <laughs> So I started growing, and I really loved it, and um, and they're my family, my religious family. Sure. Um, since since uh, uh, Pastor Elise, and oh, the other thing that impressed me was that it was it was the women were pastors. Yeah, 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 know? yeah. And that's and they're very welcoming with everyone. You know, uh, it's mainly. Uh, a lot of Germans because oh, okay. the, the the that started you know in Germany the Lutherans. Sure. Um, there's a lot of Germans and people from the northern cold country <laughs> in Europe, and uh, I've made new friends and we have uh, we even started a uh, a Latino uh, service. Okay. Yeah. And uh, w the person that really brought it, brought it ahead. Uh, um, uh, Pastor Gary um, actually retired last year. Went to just before pandemic. Mm. He went back to Minnesota because okay. most of the people have connections with Minnesota I'm sure. and and all those cold places, Wisconsin, yeah. St. Louis. You know, they're all from from the middle part of the country. Yeah. So uh, I also served on the council they have a council okay and I was one of the members there you know for the uh, to, uh, to help the church go in certain directions sure so I was a member there for about three years okay yeah. and uh, it's a lot of work I'm sure it's a lot of work um, but now you know I'm we're online we've been online since the pandemic okay, and they yeah. started going back in person uh, but you know, right now it, again, the it doesn't look good. I know, yeah. So, uh, but you know, doing it online at least you know you have some connection. Sure. And uh, they're just a very wonderful group, Pastor Sudbrick. When I was there from almost the beginning, uh, my sister Lillian uh, went to the hospital for something, and and. The pastor went to visit her. Yeah, you know, and I that I appreciate to this day. You Absolutely. Know. Uh, and 
Yeah, because we grew up in a household, you know, we're Catholic, but we're open to other religions. Yeah, yeah, That yeah, was yeah. one of the things uh, that were very evident in, in my upbringing. So uh, I know, I know, you know, belong to the to the Lutheran Church, and many many of the uh, parishioners came from the Catholic Church. Oh yeah, yeah I'm sure. You know, that moved over because um, they're also interested in in uh, causes, in yeah. social causes. Yeah. And that goes right in with what I believe in. Absolutely. Yeah. So that that's my uh, and my pastor now, uh, Pastor Danielle Young young woman with uh, two beautiful children mm. and uh, and I just have made a lot of wonderful friends there yeah. yeah yeah very very happy to be there so I wanted to give a shout out to my religious family absolutely yeah absolutely yeah very very nice so uh, we'll go on to uh, something else now yeah and, sure and, and that is uh, oh we wanted to talk about my godchildren the people the young people that call me madrina yeah because of uh, my connection with the arts and not only with the arts but i guess with people yeah so i i wanted to mention them because they mean a lot to me. Um, uh, of course, Wally Edgecombe, sure. who was with, uh, who has been with me for the last past 40 years. Uh, he worked at Ostos yeah. Community College, and uh, so he, he, he with uh, Tato La Viera, you know, named me La Madrina, yeah. and it just stuck. <laughs> yeah. So Nidia, his uh, Nidia, uh, uh, while his wife calls me madrina, Tato La Viera, while he was alive, uh, called me madrina yeah. all the time. Yeah. And then uh, Henry Arce, a dear, dear friend, also calls me madrina. Uh, Diana Arce, mm. uh, also. And then later on, Brenda Brenda Jimenez Peralta, who I met at Girl Scouts, sure. became uh, someone that uh, refers to me as her madrina yeah. and her mentor. Sure. And then the, there's Rina Valentin, who, who has a program on, on BronxNet. Yeah. Yeah, she calls me madrina. She calls you madrina. Yeah. yeah. So those are the people that, <clears throat> that I know. Oh, and Manny Vega. Oh, okay. The oh, artist I too, see. Manny Vega and David Gonzalez, the yeah. photographer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I believe I believe Edwin Hagan, who's also a photographer. So uh, yeah, I have a lot of people, and then I have some that call me Titi. Sure, sure. And for being, you know, Titi equals aunt. Yeah. In English, and I have Judy Judy uh, uh, Perez who now lives in D.C. and uh, so proud of her. She has her Ph.D. She works at Georgetown yeah. University. And so I'm, I'm really blessed with all these wonderful people around me. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, of course, there's my family. Sure. You know, yeah. uh, there's a whole string of them <laughs> that call me Titi. Uh, there's... Uh, Joey Kanzo, the photographer, there's Stacy and, uh, and her children. And then, um, of course, I have Anita and Dami. Yeah. And uh, uh, Jared, who doesn't live here in the States anymore, he lives in Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic, mm. and he's also uh, a relative. So. I think I cover everybody. And then, of course, I have my sons yeah. and my grandchildren. I have Q, who's my heart right now because she's developing into 
a person and, <laughs> and can talk. I know she's going to be talking like her father who doesn't stop talking. <laughs> and she brings so much joy. She oh, really I'm sure. I'm so, sure. And to hear her speaking, she's uh, going to a school with uh, Spanish, uh, but uh, what do they call it? Um, it's not bilingual, so they have another name for it. Mm. But anyway. They teach in Spanish and English. Sure, sure. Dual language. Oh, dual language. Dual yeah, language. yeah, yeah. So she's picking it up quite a That's bit. That's wonderful. It is. I mean, you should hear her. And yeah. uh, when I, I'll say something till she repeats it. And she, you know, it's repetition is the best thing for, for children at that age. Yeah. Because they really, you know, go they go for it. And of course, I have my granddaughter, uh, the big one. Uh, who you interviewed, yeah. and Karina has a talent in art, and I hope that you know she'll be able to to do something with it in the future. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's really good. Yeah. She gave uh, Q uh, a mandolin. Oh. And she she uh, cov she actually uh, did the. Uh, artwork on it wow and it's it's beautiful it is beautiful wow so i'm proud of her for that so those are the things that you know i've been going through my mind i know once once we stop this series <laughs> i'm <laughs> probably, sure there's a lot more oh why didn't you tell him this i you. Him that but Maybe one day we'll have a, uh, what do you call it, a, uh, a revisit? A revisit, yeah, we can definitely do that. Yeah. We can definitely do that. I've already done that with a couple people Yeah. Um, yeah. who recorded in the past. And it's remember. just like when I gave my papers to uh, Center for Puerto Rican Studies. Yeah. I gave my papers then, and since then I've given them more and sure, more and more. Sure. Because I'm still here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, absolutely. They, and they are just very grateful you know they say that that's one of mine I, the my papers are one of the best collections that they have because I saved a lot yeah. <laughs> talking about being a hoarder <laughs> I hoarded all this paper now I know why I yeah 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 absolutely <laughs> absolutely and I'm sure there's things yeah. in your papers that you can't really find anywhere else no, at this point you know no, no, so not at all yeah but uh, I uh, I've been very fortunate. Uh, the people that I've met, I also acquired a lot of people that were friends of Lillian's and Evelina's. Sure. They became my friends. Uh, so I think about the life that I have and what I've had, and I'm just grateful. I'm so grateful. Yeah that I'm here, that I've been able to help other people, you know, whether I knew it or not, people yeah. tell me, you don't remember this, you, you, it wasn't for you, you know, and I says, really? <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, that's how life is, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I think about the future, about the people that are here now, the young people, and my my children, my grandchildren, and I think about what my mother wanted so badly yeah. for her children, and it was education. Yeah. And I can't get that out of my head because whether you use it or not, education opens up your whole world. Yeah. And I noticed that my travels helped me in adding to my formal education. Yeah, for sure. Because that it was an exper experiences that I I would gladly do over again and pay for it if I had to, which yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah. And um, so what I would want for my for my future children, no, not children, but grandchildren and great-grandchildren, yeah. is for them to follow their dream. Yeah. 
and get an education because that will help you in your life and also to help humanity yeah I mean that's how I grew up you know helping others yeah and you don't realize it but it does come back to you Absolutely. as as you as you give your all to 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 these young people and even to the older people it it is it's something that you can you can buy with money yeah and to be remembered i mean i get calls from people during the holidays or even for my birthday yeah that remember me and and that that's more important than than a gift absolutely that's the gift absolutely yeah that's the gift to to, to take and nourish and that keeps you happy uh, to be in this world yeah so when i'm gone my legacy will be that whatever whatever you want to do or need to do you have to you have to be cognizant of, of the fact that you are the one that's going to be directing it yeah you you're going to follow that yellow brick road yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and get to to the you know the place that you want to be yeah uh it took me a long time oh yeah cuz yeah. i always thought you know i thought of things but didn't realize that it would happen to me later in life especially yeah. my travels yeah and my job with the girl scouts where you know i had wonderful supervisors and people that that i still keep in touch with yeah they've just uh, been wonderful to me and the ones i met at the department for the aging and yeah. united artists parents and and my first two jobs Breitman and Gaffin sh uh, shoe wholesalers and L&B hosiery yeah and those people you know i may not see them now you know many of them are gone you know in terms of transitioning but i still remember how they treated me and how they accepted me yeah so i hope that uh, the people that are watching this will uh get something out of uh of my life i'm sure and uh and that they will continue with theirs absolutely and i hope to see you again absolutely i hope to see you again too and is there any anything else you'd like to add before we end at least for now we can always um you know re revisit things that occur to you but i think i think at this point we'll end it but let's leave it open for Oh, maybe a final chapter. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much. This and I want to wish everyone this is 2021. I want to wish you a felicidades. Uh um well, or we say in, in uh, Spanish, feliz Navidad. Yeah. Feliz Navidad. Yeah. And prospero año. So 2022 has to be the best. Yeah. It's going to be the best. Yeah. Okay? So, uh thank you so much. It's been a, a pleasure. Yeah, it's been, been a pleasure. pleasure. It's been all mine. Thank you.